Oh my gosh. I hate clutter. This is amazing. I'm so irritated. And yeah, you know what's up. Yo. <clears throat> Good afternoon. So, oh God. So, uh, I have not been wanting to film. I've just been tired and just never wanted to film, right? My face kind of feels dry. <laughs> Whatever. I'm listening to Janelle B. Stewart's podcast and she's talking about her topic. Her topic is the number one reason you will quit before. I think it says you will quit and I won't. And she is talking about the reason why she does what she does. And oh my God, I feel so emotional because... She talked about how when she was in kindergarten, she would have to wake herself up to go to school. And <sighs> and go to school because her mom was an immigrant and obviously no one to watch her she was in the projects and she would come home and put hot dogs in the microwave and eat and watch herself before her mom came home and she was living in all kinds of danger and obviously there are thousands and millions of people <clears throat> who have been dealt this hand in the U.S. And it's just so moving to hear. And one thing, I'll never apologize. I will no longer, have I ever done it in the past? I don't know if I have, I doubt I have, but I will never apologize for crying online because one thing I hate is when people feel like they can't, like I hate watching someone be emotional online and then they apologize for it, it makes me uncomfortable watching them. It's like, this is normal. You need to just let it out. So here I am. Oh my God, my throat is burning. Cause I'm listening and I'm just in agony for what she had to experience. And then I'm just so grateful in watching her and knowing her and just seeing how she has overcome oh my god she has overcome all of this and it's just like wow you know to live in such a dangerous place to be home alone and I just think as a mom how scary that is because I know there's some bad parents out there but come on now how many parents really do want to just leave their child alone in a ghetto environment even if you live in a posh area someone can still break in but how many parents want to leave their child at home? How many parents don't want to be able to be there for their child when they're so young? Oh my God, my throat is like, it hurts. So, huh, I'm just so like, I'm just so moved by that. And just, it just makes me think back to when I was working and tired and driving home falling asleep but just being so tired trying to just stay awake and I had to work and I had a newborn baby and I would pray to God I didn't know how it would be possible but I would pray to God that if there was a way that I could work for myself that I wanted to because I was just so tired from the going and the coming and the going and the coming. And obviously not everyone has that option, but I love what she does in mentoring women who have a goal to do what we do. If you if you have a goal and you're the kind of person who needs someone to walk you through all of it, hold your hand through all of it, she's perfect because she cares and she sees she sees a lot of potential in people. She has helped me tremendously. And I'm not even a client of hers. She's the kind of person who is so, so selfless. Now, granted, you need to pay her her money, okay? She deserves it. She really, really does. But it's, but, uh, it's not but. And it's just so touching to hear her story. And, uh... God, my throat is burning. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Just think of... So just think of what God has done in my life and what he continues to do. And 
and what he does in the lives of other people. Oh my God. It's just a lot. It's just a lot to think about. And I have therapy in two minutes. So, praise the Lord. I haven't, I haven't showered today. I was going to work out. I didn't feel like it. I just needed to rest. I just feel so tired. And anyway, I just wanted to share that because Janelle is awesome. If you're someone who needs, <clears throat> first of all, listen to her podcast because she's always sharing such awesome knowledge. Second of all, if you're someone who needs one-on-one -on -one attention in order to do what it is that I do, what she does, Janelle B. Stewart. Look her up on socials, follow her, sign up with her. She's very caring, very empathetic. You just look at the goodness of God. It's just, it's miraculous. It's just amazing. I, I just, I'm floored. Logging in. Oh, first of all, her podcast is Look on the Bright Side. I'm logging in. Did she cancel me? I'm logging in right now for my therapy session. Oh my god, I'm a headache. This is a phone session because look at my head. Like I can't even. Okay, good phone session because I'm not doing this right now. I'm just tired. Okay. When I think, oh my god, oh lord, like what could be and what it could be and what it's not. You know what my life could be, but what it's not, and the fact that it's all because of God. I just. What can I say? You know. What can I say? I, I don't even know what to say. And this is not even what I'm coming into therapy talk about. So like, I need to get my life together right now. <laughs> We're talking about this. We're talking about something completely different in therapy. Okay. Praise the Lord. <sighs> Mind you, next week is spring break. I'm taking it off. I just, <sighs> I just want to work for myself if I can't enjoy a week off. You know, like, I just need it. I look forward to it. Hi, how's it going? Good. Yo, good morning. I am meeting Marie today downtown to do a Houston City tour. Interestingly enough, in my... Oh, was that the book? Oh, that better not be it. That is a small thing. No, we need a double a double decker. Don't play us. And put, that that better not be it. Oh God. Okay, so I'm meeting Marie to do a Houston City tour, which I think will be nice. Cause again, I've been here 12 years. I've never done it. I've been to downtown a handful of times. Oh no no no, let me not. Cause I've also been to soccer games. Okay, I've been to downtown less than 10 times or maybe 10 times. That's not a lot, and I don't know what. Is, I don't know what's all around here and it's just cool right you go to a new city you do a tour why not I live here I live f far away from this city but it's just a cool thing to do so we're gonna do that and then we're also going to go to post Houston post HTX it's this new place or it's a place that's been oh okay here it is here's the sign okay the destination is on your right 1302 Dallas Street okay so where do I park I don't you know I don't know arrived how, I don't know how to handle all this parking and stuff. Hold on. Oh my God. Okay, good. So it's right here. And we are going to be on the double decker, the hop on, hop off. I don't think she's here yet. Oh, whoever that is. She looks cute. Okay, good. All right. So let me, I'm going to send her a voice message and let her know that I'm already here. Listen, I'm the person that will delete text messages if we are done speaking because I hate clutter. I hate it. Hey girl, what up? I'm here already, so I'm about to go pay and then catch a seat at the top of the double decker. So I'll see you soon. There's a parking lot right next to it. It's seven dollars a day to park. Oh, Become actually, close until what? Oh so, wait, <laughs> it's playing a YouTube um, video. Hold on, hold on. I sent her a gift for her birthday. I'm playing. She, I didn't put my name on it because I wanted to surprise her, and she opened it and called. Okay. <laughs> I was watching a YouTube video kind of sort of while I was driving, but I couldn't pay attention because I needed to get my directions. All right, so I'm going to go over there and get my parking ticket and then come back, put the ticket thingamajiggy on the car, and then go on the double deck. And look at the way like, the sky is. I almost said look at the way the sky is moving, but we all know it's the earth that's moving, okay? But still, like, look at that. So picturesque. Okay. 
Let me go do that. Oh my God, I spilled coffee on myself today. Angered me so. Oh, people are in the front. Well, I'm gonna be in the front. That's okay. I spilled coffee on myself today. Angered me so much, and I just had to get over it and just get over it. But it just, you know, just you know, I can just, ugh, just whatever. You get it. I don't need to explain that. If you've ever, if you if you've ever spilled coffee on yourself or all over a place. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Jeez Louise. Okay. Does this thing work? Is this thing on? What the heck? This machine is not even working. Hello? Oh, I can do text to park? What the heck? <laughs> I'm so irritated. This machine doesn't work? Like, you couldn't tell me that? Before I even put my information in? Text to park. Read the sign before you pay. No free parking at any time. Okay. Wait, hold on. I hate when I say text this to this because it's like, which one is first? I get confused. It's annoying. Okay, so text. What? I don't have, what? I don't have service? So how am I supposed to pay? This is an atrocity. What is this? Safari cannot open because it cannot establish a secure connection to the server. See, this is the, this is the kind of stuff that I don't. First it was the coffee. Now it's the, should I go home? I need to go home. It's just dumb. How am I supposed to pay? Okay, so I literally can't even. <laughs> this has got to be a joke. So let me not use Safari. Why do I have to use Safari? Why is it? Because I don't even use Safari anyway. It's just dumb. Cannot provide a connection. What? This is so stupid. Look at this. Okay, good. I had to turn it off my Wi-Fi. That's so dumb. You got to turn it off. Okay. What? <laughs> okay, here we go. We got to put all these. In oh. What is my license plate? I can't do this. This is so... I'm annoyed. Who remembers their license plate number? Because I sure... I don't. I mean, I have a new car, so I don't remember this stuff. I used to know my old one that I had for several years. Okay, okay finally. God, now I have it. Oh my goodness. Now let me go pay for this. Is this a coffee shop? Hi, is this the place that I pay for the tour? The tour that I pay here? Oh, all right. Okay. Oh, okay. And you leave promptly at 10? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, because we have other people that are connecting to other tours, going to the space center, things like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why on the voucher it says you have to be here at least 15 minutes prior to departure to check in. Okay. Tour is an hour and a half. It's about 80 minutes, yeah. So you'll okay. be back here on 11.30. Okay. Uh, let's do two. Okay. I don't know if she's gonna make it. Um. Okay. Sixty nine ninety. It's just so so you can kind of follow along where the tour is going. Uh. Yeah. Anything if you want to start boarding. Yep. Okay. She. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. I have a friend who's coming. I don't know. I'll... Yeah. Uh, you're waiting for someone. Yeah. Her name is Marie. Oh, uh, Marie. Okay, yeah. No problem. Okay. this trouble myself and I didn't come here for this that is not the reason why I came here I didn't come here to sit by myself okay first Lord. like what all right so $35 a person in case you want to know yo she's not even here yet we're leaving in two minutes Marie what the heck this is the place first of all the visitor center looks it's a coffee shop and I was like is this the place where we buy the tickets I don't get it, it just looks so unsuspecting not me taking this tour by myself. You listen, okay, back there? Alrighty. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, good morning, good morning, everyone. Uh, we're going to start moving. <laughs> Welcome to Houston. Uh, you are in the fourth largest city of the U.S. and the largest city in the southern states. Uh, we're number four just after New York, uh, Los Angeles, and Chicago, okay? Welcome, everyone. My name is Antonio, and I'm going to be your uh, tour guide today. And downstairs is uh, Christopher. And uh, we're going to start a tour at this convention center. Hold on, hold on one second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, one moment. Just open the door. Oh my God, I let her come on. <laughs> you, me. <laughs> you, only her. 
Getting me on camera. Oh, not everyone looking at you. It's fashionably late. Okay, y'all. All right, let's just start the last. We're going to start the last. So we're going to start throughout this convention center district, oh, okay? Uh, the majority of the buildings I'm around this uh, area like, are convention uh, areas and hotels. But also we have the three professional stadiums. I don't know if you all remember the famous <laughs> Astrodome. The Astrodome back in the 80s and 90s was considered the eighth wonder of the world. Was the first completely covered uh, air conditioned. I want you and I can't wait. Don't want to spend a minute without you. I know you feel the same. So come on, give me love. I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me wanna say, damn. And yeah, you know what's up. Ain't nothing I won't do, I won't do for your body. So give me all you got right now. I know I'm yours, baby. So come give me so fun initially 80 minutes felt like it was gonna be forever but turns out that was really fun it was windy i feel like i not i feel like i wish i brought a brush to brush my wig honey but well not a brush a comb but whatever i just fingered my fingers through it and it's a cloudy day today the sun did come out a little bit but i'm glad i wore this sweatshirt because it was definitely breezy houston has so much to know a lot of it i didn't know because of an old job that i had we had to talk to foreigners who came to visit and i knew a lot of houston knowledge from there but there was also a lot that i did not know like wow so that was nice it's good i'm glad i did that i should have been done this this is so dumb and girl Glad Marie made it because, yo, the way she was running toward the bus, I didn't want to make a scene and be all like, that's my friend. But thank God they saw her when she was running and they stopped. Girl, this was all your idea. I'm glad that we were able to do it. So now we're headed to post, I want to say post Oak Houston. It's not. It's called post Houston. I can't wait to eat. I'm hungry. I'm also thirsty. I'm about to get my beverage and go from there. So it's a food hall, interesting, with the staircase that I always see online. So I think this is mainly a place to come and eat, I'm not sure. Look at my hair, oh my god. My hair is such a mess from that tour. But yeah, I think this is a, a food place. Oh, it looks like there's some shops down there. Okay, this is where it gets a little lively. It's looking real sketchy in the other corridor. Just because you, just because you Art student must have put this together and then they oh my god that's Dora wait how did she this is amazing that's Dora Usu she's a Ghanaian I know her from IG Wow oh the nursing mother oh black women are worthy and immersion yep an immersive art installation by creative wellness visionary multidisciplinary artist Jun Ivory in partnership with Lululemon and post post H Texas yes this lighting the lighting for me. My hair looks a windy mess. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. This lighting here is so good. This is so nice. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. And we don't know how to pronounce it. I said my, but I'm trying to see the foundation. You really. You really so said Givenchy. Givenchy. Mademoiselle. Not Givenchy. <laughs> you, just, you, you almost, you might as well have said Leonardo da Vinci. You basically wanted to say da Vinci. Yeah, it's, it's about to be summertime. So if you want to be matte, it's time to get that mattifying foundation out. Because the dewiness was for the fall. 
and now it's time to start switching it out even though I am been I have been loving the makeup forever HD okay. I'm like okay it's starting to get warm out so we ain't makeup trying to be forever. shiny the makeup forever HD it's a natural finish meaning it's gonna make you look satin you know shiny foundation yeah it's gonna make you look shiny and that's not what we need for the summertime so I'm using it now but I was using crazy. she's about to be on her, on her way <laughs> <laughs> I need a mirror like this at my house. I'm not even lying. One where you get ready and yeah, but I know we've been through way too much, but I'm confident we'll make it. Nice lady helped us by taking our picture, and it's like, yo, it ain't gonna be good, but fine. If you want to be nice, we'll allow you, but we're not gonna use it. It's gonna be terrible. <laughs> She did the best she could, but they didn't like it. And she was so nice and she was so determined. She's like, let me take it again, let me take it again. And then she started doing horizontal. Yo, whenever you have people who volunteer to take a picture, they always do like lots of acrobatics. They want to zoom in, they want to zoom out, they want to do all these, you know, anthropology lessons. It's like, yo, like what? You know, like, just please, just do a simple picture for me. Don't don't come add your own remix to it. I've heard of this place, Chopping Block. I never knew it was inside here. That's when the line is so long and they have samples. Yep. We got some samples. I know it's not volume. the best Sierra Leone Yeah, who made it? Girl, please. It ain't gonna be the Gallangelo price. It's not Sierra Leone. It ain't gonna be the Gallangelo version. Friend. I know. So we, we can be as friends. We can be as friends. You know you're my baby. So come give me love. I never felt nothing quite like this. I get a high every time we kiss. Can't get enough, baby. So come give me love. All of your love. Won't you love me too? the next day and I brought Nini to brought him to camp because it's spring break brought him to camp and now I came to a park I'm gonna run outside I don't like to run I don't like to run outside but I am outside today so I'm gonna jog I wouldn't even call it a run we're doing too much if we give me that much credit but it's a jog I threw on my headband wig and it's up in a high bun and I got my water I'm gonna just take my keys and my phone put my ear Pop AirPods in, and I'm gonna do a run, walk, run, walk, run, walk, run, walk, run, walk. I have my I watch on, and uh, let's say 30 minutes. I'm gonna do see what I'm feeling, or perhaps I'll finish this podcast that I'm listening to. It's a one hour podcast, so if I'm feeling the energy and if I'm really feeling it, I'll do the whole hour, it'll distract me, and I'll just keep on going round and round and round. But I I am just challenging myself with this spring break, for instance, to do things that I normally don't do, get out of the house, not just sit around and be sedentary, but also to be more active. I want to be an active person. I never grew up as an athlete. I didn't play sports. I didn't do all that. I was in theater. I was doing acting. I was doing plays and stuff. So that's what I liked to do. Well, I neglected my activity need in terms of being a human being. So. It's just not good. It doesn't feel good and I'm not healthy. So this week is a kickstart for me to just do things that I normally don't do. Sit at home, filming, being on a computer. It's a very sedentary lifestyle and something's got to give. So here we are today and I'm excited about it because it's, it's, I'm just doing things that I, 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 not that I used to do, but being away from my office reminds me of when I wasn't an entrepreneur. Not that I want to go back, but what I'm saying is being an entrepreneur, there's always work to be done always there's never a shortage of work and knowing that i just have to remind myself that that doesn't mean though that i shouldn't take breaks so today i'm like you know what there's always there's always work and thank god nothing is pressing right now so i'm gonna work out outside it's not high high sun time yet it's gonna be 73 today right now it's 61 so that feels good oh I forgot I have my, I don't, it's on my calendar. Oh, I got my, <laughs> I'm taking a COVID test at 11. Okay, well, I'm not going to do an hour because I got to go do that. Ooh, good thing I looked at my calendar. Okay, I'm going to do 30 minutes, maybe 40. All right, let's go. Ooh. 